Okay guys, we got the Duramax set up in parallel. One thing I want to show you guys is, this is the position you want your Duramax when it's running. Kind of at a 90 degree. The reason you want to do that is, one exhaust is over here, it's not blowing into this generator, and the, the other exhaust is blowing on this side. Because the exhausts are on the side, this is the problem you run into if you want to parallel this generator. The other thing is, this generator only have two, the two parallel cables. It does not have a neutral. For 240 volts, you want to have a neutral. You want to have uh, your, your ground and your neutral. If in case there's any problem, you want to have that backup ground. Okay? So we're going to check if you're getting 125 volts. Because the thing is, most people say that because it does not have a neutral, you can't get 125. Let's verify that right now. This is the XB 9000 IH PK parallel kit. So let's see if it has uh, 125 volts. We're gonna test right here. We're gonna use this to verify that there's an open circuit and that open circuit is a neutral. So you see it's detecting there's no neutral. That means from your generator, there's no neutral. So we're gonna test all of them and see if there's no neutral on the other ones. So that's one thing you want to check. Let's see if you're getting 125 and 250. Sneak this out a little bit so I can get to the contacts. So I'll touch one side here. And the top. See? There you go. Verify 125. Let's check the other leg. And the other leg. 125.2. If I check both legs, meaning this one right here and that one on the other side. I should get 250. There you go. Okay guys, just to verify the neutral, we're going to open this thing up. So the two grounds from each generator comes together on the top. That's the first one up front. On the bottom, you see the neutral? Where it's supposed to have a neutral? It's empty. So that's your neutral plug. There's no wire going to the neutral right here. It's completely empty. All right, so we did verify that on the Duramax, there's no, no neutral wire. But you still get your 125. Be kind of hard to use a surge protector on this one because you can't have any open circuits. All right, there you go. All right, so 125, 250. Okay, guys, so you do get 125 and you do get 250. You just don't have a neutral. That means that one neutral you have is your ground, okay? If that ground goes, everything goes. But with the neutral, you have that backup. All right, let's check the 10 max. Gen Max does not need a parallel kit. It has a 50 amp plug on it, so it utilizes that to get its 50 amp. It has a 50 amp over here and a 50 amp over here. Just need the cable to make sure you have uh, connect both generators together. All right, let's fire them up. Fire one. Fire up the second one. Okay. 
We're gonna use this one. All right, turn on your power here. And you see what happens? It's correct. It's running on one. Turn on the power over here. Oh, this one was already on. So you see with the Gen Max, when you're running in parallel, it's correct. Because you have one leg, two legs, the neutral, and the ground. So you're getting safe, pure sine wave, power, and everything is correct. All right. Pull that out. Let's check the other one. See? Also correct. Got a 50 amp over here and a 50 amp plug over here. You can actually use either one. So with the Duramax, since you have a parallel kit, you only have one 50 amp plug to utilize. You need a 50 amp plug. And these are only 30 amps on here, okay? 240 volts. Where is it right here? 240 volt, 30 amp. You need a 50 amp plug. That's why you need a parallel kit. 240 volt, 50 amp. So that's why you need a parallel kit. This guy right here, everything is on it. All you need is the cable. The exhaust is located on the back side. That means you don't have to put your generator at a 90 degree trying to get them exhaust to not burn the other generator. You just run them side by side. And this is the exact same thing with the two Predator. With the exhaust being right here, you can't run them that way. You have to put them at a 90 degree. I don't have the parallel kit for the Harbor Freight Predator because they just have not released it yet. But the good thing about this one is it does have both legs and the neutral. So you shouldn't have that problem. Once they release the uh, parallel kit, it should be fine. Okay? But this one right here, it just makes it so much easier to get it set up, hooked up, and running. All right? Okay, guys, real quick video. I just wanted to show you all paralleling this generator everything should be fine you do have the ground so basically if you were to use this you would not be able to use a surge protector it wouldn't even come on all right on this one right here you just plug it in and go all right so gen max makes it easy Okay guys, just a quick demo and showing you the difference between the Gen Max, the Predator, and the Duramax, and how you get them to parallel. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Please subscribe to the channel. If you're watching the videos, just hit that subscribe button. It really helps us, you know, get these videos out there. Guys, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.